Hey guys, it's Soda Pop and Hunter95. Welcome to another episode of The Legend of the Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got back here to the world below. And we were told that we gotta take Tetra to the room where we got the Master Sword. Well, let's do just that. Alright, so, back here in the castle, the entranceway is still open, so let's just head right on in. No need to do any puzzles or anything. Pretty sweet. And somehow we just teleport over here. Are you him? Are you the one who was speaking through my stone without my permission? Answer me! That stone is an enhanced version of the gossip stones long spoken of in the legends of the Hyrulean royal family. I am the one who made it. You made it? The royal family's gossip stone? I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Have neither of you heard the tales? Tales of the kingdom that I've spoken of in the legend of a great hero. The place where the power of the gods lies hidden. This place where the two of you now stand is that kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am the king. Daphnis Nohansen Hyrule. <laughs> Do you not recognize my voice? Indeed, I am the one who guided you here. I am the king of red lions. There was no need for me to reveal my true identity to you as long as that blade the master sword could defeat Ganon. But now, both of you must listen to me. Once long ago, this land of Hyrule was turned into a world of, by sh of shadows by Ganon, who sought to attain the power of the gods for his own evil ends. My power alone could not stop the fiend, and our only choice was to leave the fate of the kingdom in the hands of the gods. When the gods heard our plea, they chose to steal away not only Ganon, but Hyrule itself, and so, with torrential downpour of rains from the heavens, our fair kingdom was soon buried beneath the waves, forgotten at the bottom of the ocean. Yet yeah, all that was lost, for the gods knew that to, to seal the people away with the kingdom would be to grant Ganon's wish for the destruction of the land. So before the sealing of the kingdom, the gods chose those who would build a new country and command them to take refuge on the mountaintops. Those people were your ancestors. Hundreds of years have passed since then. So long, so long as Gandorf was not revived, Hyrule would remain below, never waking from its slumber. Tetra, come to me. This necklace you wear is part of a sacred treasure called the Triforce of Wisdom. It has been passed down for many ages within the royal family of Hyrule. Your mother passed this down to you and instructed you to treasure it and to guard it with your life. Am I not correct? The Triforce of Wisdom is none other than the sacred power of the gods that we may have kept from Gen's clutches for so many long years. The gods placed upon your ancestors the task of protecting it from evil's grasp. You too must abide by the laws of the past, and so the time has come for me to teach you the fate into which you were born, the very reason that you live. My fate. You are the true heir to the royal family of Hyrule, the last link in the bloodline. You are Princess Zelda. Zelda? I'm a princess? You are confused, aren't you? I suppose such is to be expected. Link, I'm terribly sorry that you've been caught up in these events. But now that it is known that Tetra is indeed Princess Zelda, Ganon will be searching frantically for this child in an attempt to get the power of the gods that she possesses. He will not rest until he has found her. If he succeeds, my ancient kingdom under the sea will be turned into a land of shadow and despair. And so will the world that you know above the waves. Link, I need you to lend me your strength in this dark hour. I have a suspicion about what has caused the Master Sword to lose its power. 
I need you for you to come back to me, the lands above the water, and return the power to repel evil to the Master Sword. You got it. Zelda? It's far too dangerous for you to join us in this task. Fortunately, the sacred chamber is not yet known to Ganon. It is my wish that you wait here in hiding until we return. Link, we must go. Link! I don't know how to say this. Everything that's happened to you and your sister, it's all been my fault. I'm so sorry. Link! Be careful. And with that, we must go to the sea and figure out how to repel evil from with the Master Sword. Link, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the sages who infused the blade with the god's power. The sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north, and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to the gods. You must head to these two temples to see what has happened to the sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temples. But each temple should have another entrance high upon Hyrule's mountaintops, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark this place on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately! And what he says there is true. We can go to either the Earth Temple or the Wind Temple first, either order, which is pretty cool. But I have one that I always like to go to first. So we're going to be going there first. But not before we do something else first. How many times do I have to say first? <laughs> Link, do you know of the legend of the Hero of Time? Once long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the Kingdom of Hyrule. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe much as Zelda kept hers. The sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at that time the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not know where they rest, but this much I do know, they lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. Might you have crossed paths with someone who knows much about things that lie hidden in the depths of the sea? Well, fret not if you can think of no one. Though, maybe you would come up upon the knowledge by asking around in a place where pe many people gather. Alright, so with that, let's do something that you have to do. I hope I have enough time in this video to do this. Oh, yeah. Alright, so you need to teleport. You need to play this song! <laughs> I can't believe I got the songs mis mixed up. The only way to get this place is to use the Ballad of the Gales. No other way. You need to teleport to this map square. One di directly diagonal from the Forsaken Fortress. That's the only way to get there. And look where we're at. Oh boy, can you control the wind? <laughs> so young to have such power. How did you know to, to find me here? 
I'm the queen of the fairy world. What's the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? I like you. And so, I shall give you new power to the bow that you wield. Got the fire and ice arrows! Yeah! Ice arrows can freeze the hottest slimes and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. That's cool. Oh! The fairies in this fountain will ease your weariness. Use them as you need to. Child, I must tell you, you are just my type. <laughs> <laughs> King realizes, like, oh, Link! <laughs> Alright, so with that, now that we have our fire and ice arrows, to use them, simply take out your arrow, and you have to press ZR, and take out your different arrows. Yeah, so, now with that, now we can go do the required. Well, this is required, but now we can go do the more stuff. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. But yeah, we see that the two temples are to the south and the north. Well, we actually can't get to either of the temples without a certain item. So, for I say uh, we're going to be doing that now. So, but to get the first item, we're heading to the Dragon Roos Island and we're heading south. But, I think that's enough for this video. I know we didn't make much progress, but... Whoa, I just went through a lot of talking. I need to take a little break. Like, oh my gosh. Alright, so, the next episode, we're gonna head south from our direct location. And, we're gonna see if we can find one of the two items. Alright? Hope you all enjoyed, and peace out.